Yasu, hello, bonjour. Um, I'd like to show you a an app that I've done called Practice Your Language Phrases. If you install it from the Play Store, um, you'll see a phrase there. Um, you can go down and um, see an area there at the top in yellow where you put in your language and a two-letter code. You can look up in Wikipedia what the two-letter code is. For English, it's EN. For Greek, which I'm learning, it's um, EL. And very ES for Spanish, um, FR for French. So reasonably um, easy to, to find. And the next area is a place where you can paste in your own phrases. And the point of this app is you can paste in your own phrases and then um, get the text-to-speech engine, get the... Um, Android application to talk out each phrase to you. So I've got some sample phrases put in and um, there if I click on that I can um, get the app to uh, to say some Greek phrases to me. If I press plus one which is the area where I'm uh, asking for it to do the next phrase Meleni Dimitri. Now, so that says Meleni Dimitri. I can then uh, repeat it. I can read it obviously and understand why it is saying uh, it in that way. I can see an accent on the f the epsilon in the second word, and I can it, the equal sign gets you to gets the app to uh, say the same phrase again. Meleni Dimitri. So I can re keep. I can keep getting it to play and keep repeating it, or I can go on to the next phrase. Thelo miso litro grassi. And the point of this is that I enjoy practicing Greek. I want to be able to hear it. The text-to-speech engine it gives me enough of idea, an idea to, um, to about how to pronounce it, but I don't have to find somebody who's patient and available in order to uh, talk through phrases. Also, if I found a phrase, I can get that exact phrase to be um, said back to me. Now, one of the things is how to set it up. Um, you need a text-to-speech engine for the language that you're going to work in. And you also need phrases. Now, I've put in a few phrases for French. Sample French. Uh, indeed, I think I've got the wrong text-to-speech engine. Let me try it. No, okay, let's get the wrong. Um, there's a built-in text-to-speech engine that does a few phrases. Um, I'll, okay, so uh, if you want to put in a text-to-speech engine and you don't have it there, you can go in TTS is text-to-speech, uh, put in engine. I've got SVOX um, installed, and um, that's a good one. There's also one built in. And what you can do is go to uh, install that and then go to settings and go to, depending on your version of Android, uh, voice input, text to speech, and you can get it to click on the default engine. Now, Samsung text to speech is a good one to demonstrate some of the languages. But in that area, you can set the text to speech engine for the language that's, um, that you want to learn. You can also slow down the rate of speech on, uh, that it talks in which is great for learning how to pronounce things. So if I go back to this, and if I press OK and put in French again, and try that. Oui. Anglais. Anglais. Combien? It gets a bit high-pitched, but um, it does pronounce it reasonably well. Uh, for numbers, it will just do numbers. 271. And numbers works quite well in what in several languages, uh, as long as your text to speech engine uh, works in it. 85. Okay, so I believe that's Spanish. So essentially that's how it works. I've, you put in your the language there, you put in your phrases there, you put a comma between your target language, the language you're learning, and uh, you put a phrase of that, then you put a comma, then you put an English 
uh, phrase in the translation if uh, that's what you want to work with or else just put a dash so um, your learning learning language and a comma and then the English learning language comma and then English if English is not your native language you can use whatever other language you like the second language is not read out it's just there to help you know what is um, to help you know what the translation is um, you can use Word or in or a spreadsheet to set up the phrases. Um, try not to use a comma in between the phrases in themselves, or it'll um, it'll mess up the engine. Or you could put the whole lot in inverted commas. So I'm going to go back and put in my own uh, Greek text to speech. I've got um, the default engine S S V O X works for me. Uh, language you can set it to Greek, and that can can affect things. Speech rate rate I like it very slow. That works for me. So that's all set up. I can go back to practice your language phrases. Um, interview Greek is some phrases I've set up. Do you enjoy your work? mu. So I can get it to ask me a question and then try to answer it. The ora in a um uh up to um Enea Pukate Venisapo Hima Epo Ilandia. So I I don't know whether I've got that right, but I can um, simulate a conversation and I can also get it to repeat something. If I'm not sure where the where the uh, stresses are and uh, how to pronounce something, so that's the idea that it can be very flexible to put in. The, you can put in the phrases that you want, so um, you're not just using random phrases that a, a guidebook has decided uh, are right for you. I find for family conversations, the guidebooks don't give you an awful lot of useful phrases. So I am trying to learn the phrases that people around me will be using. And I find that I can get a lot of practice with this. I hope you download it. I hope you find it useful.